everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. I'm also inviting you to join me as I travel down to Texas to start my off-grid journey. As you can see, I'm sitting in the back of my trailer right now. I just got done, and you'll see a little video clip of it here in a bit. I just got done loading all of my big power stations. I have... Uh, It was, it's it's kind of heavy. They're, two of them are about 50 pounds each. The other ones are nothing. I still have the 1,000 water in the house. I'm going to load that. What in the world? Okay. I'm going to load that one in the front of the truck so I can keep my phone charged and run a few other things on the drive down to Texas. But today just going to be a quick little video I wanted to talk to you it seems like we never end talking about this but there was another post on Facebook and she put up the lipid panels that she got from her doctor and said should I be worried and her triglycerides, if you're going by all of the crap that we've been taught all along, her triglycerides were 102, but her HDL was 58, and her LDL was like 131, and she was freaking out because it was 131. Folks, they told us lies for a really long time. They've been pushing for lower and lower cholesterol levels for the last 30 years to try and get us to buy their drugs. That's all this is about. Back 40, 50 years ago, if you'd gone to the doctor and they'd run a cholesterol check, a lipid panel, and you came back at about 300, they'd say, good job. Now, they just keep lowering it and lowering it and lowering it because they want you to buy their drugs. The best drug in the world for 95% of, <clears throat> of the diseases out there is beef. I'm not sure why it looks like my eyes are looking off that way because I'm looking right at the camera. Uh, just kind of weird the way that's set up. But anyway buy it at the grocery store or at your butcher get yourself some beef with its associated fat if you think you need a little extra in the way of some of the vitamins go ahead and have some liver just remember to have liver in proportion if you stop and think about it let's say just one person is going to kill a cow and you've got the means to preserve it you're going to have basically this cow for your next however many hundreds of meals an average cow you're probably going to get between 500 and 800 pounds of meat muscle meat with its associated fat. I'm not talking about all the bones for boiling up, for making bone broth and all that other stuff, just the meat. And then, as I understand it, a cow's liver can be four or five pounds, maybe even six. But still, if you take that amount of liver if you decide you want to have a little bit of liver with every meal to keep your vitamin levels up, it's going to be a very tiny, tiny piece of liver. So I don't think there's anything wrong with liver, but I think too many people overdo it on liver. Eat it in the proportion that it comes in animals. That's, that's all you have to do, because I... You know, I just, I don't think we need that much liver. Do we need a little bit? Maybe. I haven't eaten liver since I started this, because I'm not a huge fan of liver. But, perhaps other people have other 
ailments that they've been trying to get rid of. So I don't know. What I'm doing out here sitting in my trailer right now is I've been going through the drawers that are still in my uh, camper. You've seen the you've seen these before. Let me turn the camera around here real quick. I've got the the five drawer dresser and two of the end tables, which makes for a pretty nice countertop along the side here. Of course, that's all going to be buried by the time I get done with all of this. But I've been going through all the drawers because there's still some things in here that I really haven't worn in a couple of years. Didn't even realize I still had. But I will probably keep them. That's going to be put on a hanger. To get save more room in the drawers and this these are probably too big at this point but I'll hang on to them and try them on when I get into the house just to see my heating pad that I don't think I'll ever need again but just in case I'm gonna leave that in there and all the other drawers look like they're empty so I'm ready to start loading clothes I'm not gonna load clothes just yet that's uh, it's coming very soon because I need to be able to reach the bar up above where I hang stuff up and I need to be able to get into these drawers. I had to move the cart back out just so that I could get in here and I restacked the solar panels over to my right just so I'd have a place to sit and make this video. I'll probably insert the footage off the bob cam of me loading my power stations right about here. Remember, folks, don't get too excited about your lipid panel from the doctor. If you want to worry about it and do all that stuff, go right ahead. You know, that's your life. Do with it what you think is right. Me personally, 
I've discovered that the best way to make sure my lipid panel is perfect is to not have it tested because the doctor's not going to agree with me no matter what I say, regardless of how much progress I've made and how good I feel. Could I die of a heart attack tomorrow? Absolutely. But if I do, it will have nothing to do with the carnivore diet or the lipid panel or any of that stuff. Heart disease takes decades to develop. So two and a half years of carnivore are not going to have a big impact on that as far as making it worse. Because it's not getting worse. I have the tests that show it's actually getting better. My ejection fraction has gone up and my CAC score has gone down. Sorry about this little rant today, but I'm getting ready to go to dance. You guys are going to see this on Wednesday, but I'm getting ready to go to dance class here. And I wanted to get more loading done before I went and did that. Um, I got, I found a pouch that I put all my cables for the Starlink in. So I've got that all organized and ready to go. And now it's just a matter of working through stuff. Probably tomorrow I'm going to go to the grocery store and buy probably two boxes of the 32 count hamburger patties. And I'm going to spend a good part of Thursday and Friday cooking them all up, putting them in Ziploc bags, and freezing them in groups of five, six, and seven, depending so that I'll have them for however hungry I happen to be. And I was just sitting here noticing. I think I can go ahead and fill my freezer because there's a little space in the corner here. Let me stand this up and show it to you really quick. There's a little space here that I think is probably not going to come out very well because it's dark back in here. But I think if I grab the Jackery, well, that's hard to lift from that angle. But yes. I can set the jackery in there like that and now I'll be able to plug the freezer into the jackery and the refrigerator into the other one and everything's going to come out okay. It's slowly coming together folks. I'm not, like I've said, I'm not in a hurry to get to Texas. I want to get out of here before the snow flies. And we'll just have to wait and see how much work I actually get done down in Texas this year. It's, it's hard to say. I'm hoping to get the shipping container at least on site. But we'll see how digging out the foundation goes for me. But anyway, don't worry about your lipid panel, guys. It's just, in my opinion, remember I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on TV. But I am convinced that having a lipid panel in the correct range of what they say is actually detrimental to us. I don't believe we want our LDL under 100. Or as a certain not doctor will say on all of his videos, you want to get your LDL as low as you can get it. I don't think that's right. Our body makes cholesterol and it also makes the LDL and all of the other transporters that carry that cholesterol to where it's needed. Now why in the world would our body make something that we didn't need? It just doesn't make sense. If any of what they're saying made sense, we would have died out as a species centuries ago before we had all this so-called science to back up what they're telling us. Anyway, I've rambled on enough today, guys. Hope you're having a great week. It is Wednesday, and hopefully I get enough done today that I can get back out and the wind dies down enough. 
I'm sure you can hear it whipping around out there. Hopefully the wind dies down enough that I can get back out and record a walking video tomorrow for Thursday. But that's what I've got for you today, guys. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.